Hey there, in today's video, we are going to discuss one CSS property, grid template. This property is a short end that allows you to define grid columns, grid rows and areas in a single declaration. And this property is really useful when you are dealing with grid layout. So how you can define this property in CSS? So in CSS, let's say I have one class or one element that I can have with grid. First of all, we need display grid, right? With this, we can assign multiple values here. So you can assign grid template columns, grid template rows and grid template areas. So how you can use the here header header so this is the part of header space sidebar so if you have sidebar you can use sidebar like this and here the size of that sidebar so there are multiple use cases possible with this css property and as i earlier mentioned this grid template is a shortened property a multiple combinations of multiple properties grid template columns grid template rows and grid template areas okay so there are many use cases possible with this property but this property is really useful when you are dealing with grid layout and in this example we will create a web page so here for example here is a web page right a sample and best example of any website any web page where what you can do you can create header that will contain this space a left sidebar with few links right sidebar with few other links the main content and footer so whenever you are creating any website or dealing with any anything related to web page these are the basic web page content right so using this grid template css property we are going to create similar layout and it's very easy to create for that what you can do here first of all we need one container so here with div class let's give the container value as site so this is our site container okay here with this site container let's say we have header that is header component or header part of your web page with header you have main so let's give it main content okay next part will be a side with some class we will assign this class here left sidebar let's give the same name here with the class name left sidebar similarly you should have the right sidebar okay right sidebar here right sidebar and after that you should have footer right let's give it a text footer so this is a very basic example so right now you won't be able to see anything because we don't have any css yet all right so first of all we will add some basic css for this so let's go to css here this is our class site here inside css class we will add minimum height let's give 100 vh okay so that's fine it won't add anything yet okay with this you can add display grid because this is our grid container with grid container we need to add grid hyphen template hyphen areas here we need to define areas for our site so how we are going to define here we will add first header 
so this is our header right so we will define like header space main so after header after header we will have main after main we will have this class left sidebar so let me copy it left sidebar right sidebar and after that we should have footer okay so this grid template area will specifies the named grid areas and it will basically give us the reference of this particular layout let's give let's add some spacing here one rem gap padding also we can give same one rem and let's give some background color here background color let's give it something um, f9904 a similar to some orange color okay so now we have this one rem okay it should have yeah so now we have header main content left sidebar right sidebar and footer okay so let me inspect here and this is our default layout when you don't write anything any css with this grid so we have this grid with header mean aside and so and so okay so now we will add one media query here so media query for minimum width 600 pixel so how we are going to do that media here media min width min width value 600 pixel so when the screen size of our device the minimum width is 600 pixel then we are going to create the same kind of css for site class but with another set of css here what you can do so using our css grade template so we will define multiple values here okay now we will define header similar to this header space header space header okay and the value the size will be minimum content okay similarly we will have left sidebar space main space right sidebar and the value of this elements is one fr and similarly footer 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 and mean content so this will be our grid template css the second argument or the second value possible value will be win max of auto 250 pixel so we will see how this property actually going to work so min max here 250 pixel space 1 fr and again min max auto and second argument will be 250 pixel okay let's see so now since we have added the css let it reload okay now we have this applying this css grid template let me open it in detail so now we have this grid template rows minimum content for fr minimum content right grid template columns min max value auto the first value is auto second value is 250 pixel okay and grid template areas we have defined areas here so first header second left sidebar then in middle main then right sidebar and then footer footer and footer so footer should be there at the end of this layout okay so let's see if this is right yeah so this is a media query when the minimum width 
of the screen is 600 pixel okay so in mobile it will be like this all right let's go and add some class here so to define header sidebar main and footer we will use grid area here so first of all we will have have this header and grid area the value of the grid area will be header so let's see how this works so let me yeah so now this is defined since this grid area is defined using this header area header tag okay similarly we can have class left sidebar and grid okay it should be grid area and the value will be left sidebar okay let's see left sidebar and now as you can see we have this left sidebar with us similarly let me copy this for right sidebar right sidebar and using this defining this grid area will define the sidebars as you can see now we have this right sidebar as well okay now you need main so main tag is again grid area and value is the main so main is this value the tag of this the value of this tag and now as you see this main content is also defined here similarly footer with footer grid hyphen area will be footer footer and it will define this footer as well okay so using this grid area css you can define the areas of your layout okay now we will add the global css for our page so anything within this site class we will have this css background color we will have white okay so you see we have now this background color with this background color let's add some radius border radius 15 pixel looks good display will be flex because we are adding some flex properties here align item center and justify content is also going to be center yeah now we have this center okay with this we can also have some color let's add similar color f three double eight zero one okay similar to orange color right now we have this as well and let's add some space padding one rem right so it looks good now this looks like this layout header left sidebar main content right sidebar and footer header left sidebar main content right sidebar and footer and good thing about this layout is when you go to the larger screen it will be as it is but when you are going in the smaller screens you see it's working as expected so definitely we can improve this layout we can add more css for media query as well but the idea using this layout is grid template so let's go and check this grid template css property so this is site and here using or defining this grid template css property will be really useful and the the main benefit of using this css is you don't have to worry about the actual responsiveness yeah so you have you might have to add some css media queries for make it more responsive but basic responsive design will be there and you don't have to write css for each and every element to make responsive the layout right so if you don't use grid here 
you might have to uh, create divs you have to create a uh, float left float right some width and also you need to write uh, tons of css to make it responsive right so this is very uh, good example how you can use grid template css property and as i already mentioned this property is a combination of grid template columns grid template rows and grid template areas so you can define these values and you can make sure that your grid system or grid layout works as expected all right thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like share and subscribe for more content stay tuned for my next video and hit the bell icon to get notified see you in the next video bye